Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be checking out Supercell's newest game that just went into beta today called Heyday Pop, available for both iOS and Android. Now, before you close out of this video, I promise I'm not going to be milking any cows or collecting eggs from chickens inside of this one. It's completely different from Heyday, although it does use Heyday's IP. And even though this game, when I first heard of it, I was like, huh, this doesn't really seem like a fit for me. I've actually had a pretty decent amount of fun playing it. Safe to say it's probably not going to be a great game for YouTube, but I'm going to show it off for you guys today and give you a full rundown of how it works. Now, like I said, the game just went into beta on in Finland, uh, New Zealand, and Australia. If you guys don't have an account in one of those countries, just Google how to make a Finnish or an Australian iOS or Android account. You guys can figure it out. But inside of Heyday Pop, it's a puzzler that reminds you of something like Candy Crush, Spooky Pop, and Legends of Soul Guard thrown together into one, obviously with Supercell's twist on top of it. So of course, you have your farm, there's stuff there that I can tell you about, but the game is all about puzzling, and I'm just going to go in, into it and break it down for you guys right now. So since I am a, a dirty gemmer, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my boosters, the dynamite. But basically, you're going to be set up with a puzzle that you're going to try to run through, and your objective is at the very top. So if you look at the top, I have 12 pieces of honey and 12 broxes that I need to break through. How I end up breaking through them is clicking the colors that are near them to break through. Now, you can only click the colors if you have two or more together. You can't just click one random green square out of nowhere. You have to have at least two together and if you have a lot together you can unlock special power-ups but basically as I click some of these uh, things like for example this purple right here it's gonna chip through that box and after I break two uh, squares next to the box the box will go away and for the honeys it's just one color but the honey can spread all over the place there's a bunch of different things that you can do and um, yeah let's just hop into this and see if we can do it now my little uh, dynamite right here is gonna help me out as we try to break through these boxes and make our way to the honey this one's actually a really tough level I've got to be honest I'm probably gonna lose this one right now the honey is going to start to take over all over the place let's go ahead and get these power-ups right here and as you can see you can slowly start putting together some of these uh these other special pieces right here which end up being pretty crucial all right let's see how we want to do this one i'm going to go ahead and use my super that's going to just destroy all of those let's use maybe my purple right here and then now we're going to get some big green energy okay i like that i like that a lot let's continue breaking through Guys, we're we're crushing it right now. I'm gonna use this one to go uh, horizontal. I'm gonna use this one to go horizontal. Let's break this box right now. We're so close. We're so close. Come on. Did we do it? Oh, there's one more box. We got it. Okay, we ended up getting everything, and if you see on the top left, there are the moves up there, and basically with the moves, uh, you're trying to finish it before it gets off. If you do end up destroying enough stuff and getting enough, enough combinations, you can get up to three stars, but we got one star for the victory right there, and that is all I wanted. Now, there is a star map that as you progress through it, you're going to get different stuff inside of the game. You're going to get extra lives, you're going to get coins, you're going to get a toolbox, and basically as you go back to your farm, you can head to your shop and buy different things. So we've got, you know, some stuff is useful to us, some of it isn't, so buying you know Delilah's Delilah's whatever they are hey there Delilah uh, they're not going to do much for us except give us experience and experience lets us unlock more parts of our farm but things like uh, corn and wheat they actually give you uh, after a couple of hours different bonuses inside of the game that I didn't show you in the or different power-ups that I didn't show you inside of that first battle and they end up being supremely useful so yeah things look really uh, good right now we've got different neighbors I'm not going to worry about my neighbors guys but basically you're going to get XP end up running through these but the game is built all around puzzling and make sure you puzzle as hard as possible and uh, let's go and get into another one right now now the honey again they have different things that they like doing but honey is the one of choice right now I'm just going to go ahead and start rocking and rolling through some of these potentially let's use our big booster to just cut all of that honey right there Ooh, this is another nice one wait we actually didn't get that one to drop right there hmm all right i'm gonna use my popcorn this ends up destroying a couple of random cubes which literally did nothing for me but here's another popcorn all right i like where things go and popcorn like i said is just gonna do work across the entire map now we've got a big horizontal booster we can use right there all the honey is off the map we can just grind through these boxes that was an easy one and we're gonna get three stars for all those extra moves that we had remaining plus all the explosions that we have to blow up the entire map. You guys get the gist of it by now. Try to destroy two boxes next to each other. Put in as much work as possible. Two win streak right there, not bad, which you get bonuses for as you go on your win streak. It gives you extra stuff as you get into battles. And let's see if we can experience up right now by buying some different stuff, guys. How would you decorate your farm? All right, I gotta go with the young wheelbarrow right there. Is that gonna be enough? It will. We're gonna be experience level four for our new area. Let's go ahead and crack on through. We can break these uh, these trees right here. And you guys get a bit of the gist of the game. These games don't tend to be the most... Um, 
I would say complicated like a clash of clans where you're timing all of these different things but obviously there's still strategy behind it like I said oh wow we've got a dog what do you guys think about chief cat the dog anyways uh, like I was saying, strategy-wise, there's still some stuff to it when it comes to the puzzles where you want to pick it up. And definitely, this is just a pick it up, put it down, targeted at a different audience that Supercell was trying to hit. Now, again, I'm being 100% honest. Supercell's not paying me to make this video. I get no brownie points telling you guys that this is a good game. I told you that I didn't think Rush Wars would go global. I actually think this game's a lot of fun. If I had to guess right now, I think this game's going to go global because I think there's a lot of people who are going to like this game and have a lot of fun with it. Um, and, you know, I could see myself playing this, like, here and there and having fun with it. It's not going to be my main game of choice. But, guys, by the way, as you put different combinations together, you're going to get some juicy uh, combos that you can put together to put in some crazy work. And let's just keep grinding through these. Now, we've got Watermelon, which you have to destroy twice, really, to be able to get them done. That was a silly vertical one right there. But let's just go ahead and use our popcorn to start cutting these down. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I'll just do these piece by piece. Maybe I can get a big combo breaker at some point. Or maybe not. All right. Well, we're still looking fine. Just breaking through these. La, 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 la. Watermelon's going to go. And uh, yeah, just good times on the farm with Chief Pat. Rocking our way through this puzzle. Destroying watermelon as much as we can. And this is where we're probably going to hit a little bit of a roadblock. All right. Orange on this one. Finally, we can break through to this watermelon right here. Man, these melons are cooped up right now. Are we going to be able to actually do this? Okay. Ooh, that was big. That was big. One more somewhere. Anywhere. Hello? Here we go. That's a tribe win, baby. Two stars for that one. A couple of explosions at the end, gonna put it together, and not really enough to get it done for a GG well played. Now, they do have daily gifts. There's a bunch of different things you can do to get motivation right here. Chief Cat is legit staring at me, wondering, Dad, what are you doing right now? I wish you guys could, could see her. Oh man, she's going back to back to sleep. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get a win right there, and that's really the uh, the name of the game. At least for me, this is what I figured out so far for how I want to end up, uh, you know, playing the game. Dominate puzzles, dominate the maps. You've got your star map, different seasons inside of the game that they're gonna continue to switch up, and then at the very end, you get a big juicy present that gives you so many goodies inside of it. And obviously, the name of the game is getting those power ups for those extra hard levels to uh, try to pick up a dub. Now we don't really have anything to. Uh, to back ourselves up with right now. So let's try another puzzle and uh, get the hang of this one. All right, so two quick oranges is gonna be able to let me rock and roll through these uh, these bales of hay. Okay, this is looking good. Actually, I was a little sketched that I did that right there, but that's still gonna be fine. Breaking through these boxes, we'll make our way to the center of the map. Mm, hmm, how do we wanna do this? If I can get like a big charged up um, dynamite thing, maybe this thing right here. Oh, that didn't really do too much. Okay. Trying different combos is definitely a valuable part of the game and something that you'll figure out as you go. For me, I'm sort of just blindly playing right now after only playing this game for a, for a couple of days. But as you go in, I'm sure people will be super technical, end up like figuring out the best possible combinations that you can make. And honestly, for me, one of my favorite games that I played growing up was called Puzzle Pirates. I don't know if anyone here has ever played that game, but that game was super puzzle intensive and uh, actually really like brought me on to gaming. It also had like poker and a bunch of different stuff inside of it that I like playing as well I gotta be honest but shout out to Puzzle Pirates the true goat and uh, speaking of goats I'm in a lot of trouble now let me show you the uh, the paintbrush now this shuffles colors basically all over the map so let's try this gives you a brand new chance of glory I like where that one ended up we're gonna get all these melons out of the way also gonna hit this melon which is crucial and destroy that box which is amazing and let's see okay another watermelon down hmm this one might be tough to Ooh, are we gonna clutch this yeah we're gonna get this are we I got the hay bale. Wait, did we win? Oh, we did. Oh, the boxes weren't even a requirement right there. See, that's why you always got to look at the top. Okay, no boxes. Still a W, though. Still undefeated on this video. And glory is intact. Now, I'm just slogging my way through uh, through the field right now. So, I'm going to keep this one going. But you guys obviously get a, a chance to see how this one goes. Again, content-wise, I don't see this game taking over the world. But as far as something to pick up and be easy to play, for sure. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Candy Crush never really made it big on YouTube. But it's safe to say they made billions of dollars, which was uh, a success, no less. All right. A couple more explosions. Big wombo combo right there. Watermelons left and right. My lord. All right. Let's cut through a couple more of these melons. Oh, yeah. You can't do that because you have that little wall breaking thing right there just crushing through these melons my goodness all right we should be good one more set right there hmm, that one's gonna be a little bit tough to crack maybe we can crush it through these someone get matched up right here there we go got one of those melons now we can start breaking through these bad boys will we finish this one off yeah this one should be should be good all right nice 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 
so close to this one on the bottom. We should be good though. How in the world did we get this last little watermelon? Is this gonna be, ooh, that was money. Oh, that was money, it hit the melon. Guys, my watermelon mechanics, next level. Can't see them, can't stop them. GG well played. And of course, if this game is live right now and you're watching this video, use code PAT in the shop because I'm sure this game is going to make, you know, this game is going to be really popular at some point. I'm serious. This game is going to be a banger. If people are still into these types of games, they're going to be bangers. And I can see myself, like, I've picked this one up on and off over the last couple of days since I played it and had a lot of fun with it. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more to keep the win streak going. Watermelons left and right, man. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got a nice combo together to start this one off. Let's use this little breaker. Ooh, yeah, this is about to be spicy right now. Yeah, let's just do both of these. Boom! Guys, there was a legend of watermelons that was made today. You guys cannot even deny it. All right. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's do this. I like that. I like that. All right. Melon. Dude, these melons don't stand a chance. These melons don't know what they walked into this morning. They thought they were safe in heyday without Chief Pat. I'm the melon monster right now. Okay, melons just still getting absolutely slaughtered left and right. Crushing these blues. Ooh, I forgot about that one right there. Now, this is where it gets a little tough. Oh, how are we going to... We have to get an orange right here. Oh, this should be an orange. Boom. Wait, what? More melons? This game is a prison, man. This game is a prison. All right, here we go. Boom. That is what we needed. Final melons on the map. Dude, there are so many melons right now. Give me this. Come on. No wonder we got so many turns for this one. I was like, dude, how are they going to make this this easy for the chief? All right, we'll get this one. Bada boom, bada bing. Big melons. All right, we're uh, we're still we're killing it right now, guys. We're killing the game. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Big orange, big red. Wait, did I miss that? All right. Boom. Uno mas. Come on. How are we going to do this? Okay, I guess I'll just explode all these. Dude, don't hit me with that. Give me that last melon, baby. Let's get it. Three stars for the victory. What a way to close it out. And what a way to get a tribe win. Guys, this is the first look at Supercell's newest game, Heyday Pop. Like I said, not a great game for content. I got to be honest. But... A game that can be fun, for sure. A game that a lot of people are going to play, for sure. A game that people are going to end up spending money on, for sure. And a game that's going to be around for a while. I definitely think so. There's a lot, a lot of ways for this one to go. Of course, if you guys didn't know, no one from Supercell's Heyday game team, if you guys play Heyday, got moved over to this. So don't think that Heyday is going to be going anywhere anytime soon. I don't have the puzzle pass, so I can't pick that one up, but I will take my three extra lives in case we take some face plants sometime soon, guys. And that is my first look at Heyday Pop, Supercell's newest game that just released on iOS and Android in Finland, New Zealand, and Australia. If you guys want to try this game out, go ahead and do it. I'm sure they're going to make this a quicker beta like they did with Rush Wars. Either it's good to go or either they're going to delete the game. I want to hear what you guys think about Heyday Pop in the comment section below. I know a lot of you guys are from Clash of Clans, Clash Royals, Brawl Stars. Not necessarily the audience that would play this type of game, but I'd love to hear your feedback from me. Again, not necessarily my genre of game, but I think it's a really well put together one like i've out of the matching puzzle ones i played before this one and legend of soul guard have to be my favorite too um so we'll see how this one goes we'll see if this one ends up being a winner and uh, we'll see what other games supercell re releases this year you guys know that the ceo of supercell said they're going to probably release one to two games this year so maybe sometime after summer we'll see a new one come out but anyways that is gonna do for me no more speculation on my side use code pat in the shop and hey day pop and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out